Hello. How y'all doing? This has been a rough week with all these plane crashes and some people that I know have died. And even the great ones have died. So this has been a you know, very rough week. Very, the nation is in mourning. Local people in mourning. But what I want to talk about in this video, do children go to hell? Are children in hell? Now, that depends on what you define as a child. Now, in the United States, excuse me, in the United States, we define a child as anyone under the age of 18. So, if a person, if a young man is 17 and 11 months old, <laughs> he's still a child. Okay, that's the United States law. Now, in cultures, other cultures around the world, that's not true. I mean, you have nine-year-olds having babies. Um... In other cultures, you have nine-year-olds having babies. So other cultures, that's not true. That's just this Puritan country. <laughs> but you got to understand everything in the United States is a lie anyway. Every history class you ever took is a lie. Every sociology, every American history class you ever took from the third grade on to college is a lie. The Constitution is a lie. The Declaration of Independence is a lie. Everything is a lie in the United States. So, uh, this whole business of 18 being adult, that's just United States tradition. But the Bible does not give a number on what a child is. What the Bible says, that even a child is known by his ways. Now, that is true. If a child is five years old and they lie, they will lie until they're 55 years old, 65 years old. They will always be liars. You know, I have a nephew. He was a hard worker when he was a kid. And you know what? He's still a hard worker. He will work very hard for a dollar. So that is true. Even a child is known by his ways. Now, like I said, the Bible doesn't really give a number on what a child is. Okay? Now, I remember this girl. She was about 11 or 12, and she was a daughter of a friend of mine. And she went to the altar. She said, I want to make sure I am saved. Now, if you take the 11 or 12 year old, another kid who talks back to his mother and talks back to his father, talks back to the teacher and, and raises hell everywhere, he's not going to be judged. If he dies, he is judged differently than the girl who went to the altar and gave her life to Christ. They're not going to be just on the same level, even though they are the same age. If the girl dies and she's 11 to 12 years old, she's definitely going to go to heaven because she gave her life to Christ. If the same kid, another kid who's 11 to 12, if he talked back to his mother and talked back to his teacher, which the Lord is not going to tolerate, if he dies at the same time, he may not go to heaven. Okay, because the Lord's not going to tolerate that. I remember reading about a 14 year old who was a hit, hit man for games, and then he got killed. Did he go to hell? That's a good question. I remember reading about a 10-year-old. No. How old was he? 12. Hit man for a gang. And then he got killed. So, did he go to heaven or did he not? You know, in some countries, they have child soldiers and they kill men, women, and children. You know what the truth is? We do have to be responsible for our actions. And I don't know why, you know, so many parts of the country and so many parts of the world, these parents put their children into sin. And the child doesn't even know what good or evil is. And so their parents, the stupid parents, put their child into sin automatically. I mean, I, I just hear so many horror stories. See, we all judge differently. We all must come before the judgment seat of Christ, not mass. It's not mass production. We have to come to the judgment seat of Christ individually. So everybody is judged individually. But we do have to be accountable for our sins. But like I said, if you have two 14-year-olds, one that's a little husky next door, <laughs> one 14-year-old is a hitman for a gang, and then he dies, and then there's another 14-year-old who gave her his or her life to Christ, if they die at the same time, they are not going to be judged on the same level. I know the 14-year-old who gave his or her life to Christ is going to go to heaven. But I cannot say the same thing for the 14-year-old 
who was a hitman. I don't know. So, we always have to pray for our children, pray for their salvation. Pray for children that you don't know. Pray for nephews and nieces. Pray that they would get saved. The Lord would send labor to them so they would get saved. So, the question is, now, there's another video, you know, people who go to hell. He said an angel told him is, um, the age of accountability is when we can discern between good and evil. <laughs> so that would be about 17 for me. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe older. I don't know. You know, if you're a very naive person, that may be 25 years old. So the age, according to the Bible, of when we are responsible for sin is fluid. If that was a true encounter, I mean, people lie so much on YouTube. I don't even know if that's a true encounter. But the Bible, since the Bible does not say what the age is of accountability, that tells me that it's fluid. It could be any age. I mean, you see... Nowadays, I mean, you you definitely hear about kids doing some evil stuff, killing the parents, killing the mother, father, all of that, killing dogs. Um, so that tells me it's fluid. It is fluid. The age of accountability is fluid. Depends on that person. That that is all I can conclude. However, I do believe that you know we are responsible for our sins. You know, I had an older sister that uh, if she had died at fifteen or sixteen, she would have gone to hell. Why? Because she gave my mother hell. She was rebellious. She gave my mother hell. So, yeah, she would have gone to hell, but she didn't die at 15 or 16. Okay? I don't know if she's still living or not. But, you know, if she had died at 15 or 16, she would have gone to hell because she gave my mother hell. <laughs> okay? So, the question is, can our children in hell? Okay? Now, if, if a child goes to hell, they're going to stay 14. Or they're going to... I remember two 13-year-old girls... In Baltimore, I remember this, uh, one killed the other and then she committed suicide because, quote, they wanted to see Satan face to face. Now, they probably both went to hell. Okay? But, you know, I cannot definitively say anything because, so the question is, are there children in hell and do children go to hell? I don't know for sure. I cannot definitively say yes or definitively say no. I don't know for sure. I will say I do think we are accountable for our sins. But I don't know for sure. I cannot answer that question definitively. I cannot give a definitive answer. Are there children in hell? Do children go to hell? I don't know.